Now, here's Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Cozart. 12-11 here on this Wednesday afternoon, noticing some clouds across our southern parishes and a lot of blue skies with less clouds here up across Opelousa. Still a very hot afternoon, not as extreme with the muggy air though as it could be. Dew points are definitely noticeably lower at the moment as we have a little bit of a northwesterly wind helping us out. So as we look outside with our Sky 10 camera network again, everywhere from New Iberia to Opelousas and Lafayette, things are really quiet as you can start to see some clouds forming here with a little bit extra moisture in the atmosphere across our coastal parishes. And then here in Opelousas, a lot of blue skies and not a cloud to be found. You can actually see the sprinklers going on right now with the turf track there at Evangeline Downs. It's been so dry up here across Opelousas over the last couple weeks. They definitely need to water the grass. So temperatures right now 92. As I mentioned, I think we could have much steamier, higher, muggier conditions at the moment, but we're not feeling it as bad. It still feels like 99. Don't get me wrong, but that north wind is helping at least usher in some slightly drier air. If we had a strong southerly wind, it would be much, much muggier outside. Temperatures rest of the day up Upper 90s to the low 100s. We did hit triple digits yesterday. I'm going to put our high around 101 here in Lafayette. Still hot through this evening. Lower 80s tonight. We'll do it all again for tomorrow. That forecasted high at 101 for tomorrow and Friday as well. Storm Team 10 radar. Nothing to show you there. Rain chances stay really minimal. A few showers could be back Sunday, but even that talking a 10 to 20% rain chance. Temperatures right now, low to mid 90s, hottest one, the hottest temperature belongs to Lafayette. And the feels like temperature, although it's hot, it could be definitely a lot worse here. 100 to 108 in I-10 and southward, that 99 feels like temperature in Opelousa. I think that again, that north to northwesterly wind trying to usher in some slightly drier air. So my feels like temperature still brings us up to 120. I think more in line now with that just lower humidity brings feels like temperatures more in that 110 to 115 range for the hottest part of the day. Nonetheless, it's still dangerous if you're not hydrating and taking those breaks. Quiet weather all the way across the Lone Star State. High pressure still keeping us really quiet here. As we still have Debbie swirling around, a very weak tropical system at this point, and some dry air has helped out the situation here across South Carolina and the Carolinas and North Carolina as that convection and all that shower and thunderstorm activity has not been as connected or as robust as it was at first thinking here. So that's helping alleviate the flash flooding issues. I think they're still going to have some problems here as the system drifts further to the north here in the coming days, and then we don't have to worry about that as we get into the end of the week and into the weekend. It will be up across the northeastern portion of the country. That tropical wave that's in the Caribbean, even lower chance for any tropical formation chances down to 10%. I think in the 7 to 14 day range, we will need to watch out for something that could develop in around the, it looks like the northern Caribbean islands into the Bahamas, but right now, if anything were to develop, it looks to stay in the Atlantic. A couple spotty showers, definitely a possibility out there. Not a lot though. As we look at Modar, everything's really quiet here. A few showers back on Sunday but if that's your free day to do some yard work, shouldn't have any problems. And you may want to wait until Sunday because we're actually going to get a, let's say, stronger cold front per se or a, a, a cold front at all coming in for the weekend on Saturday. And this is going to lower the humidity even more for us. Could give us a slightly cooler night, mid 70s there Saturday night, Sunday morning. But I think the lower humidity will be the biggest difference. And then we won't have the triple digit heat Sunday into next week. Highs will then be in the mid 90s, which is a little bit closer to where we should be for, uh, let's say, mid August. Oh, so hot out it there. 